I think she's gonna go after the tires. George, okay, she's chasing. Just go. Go, go. Hello, boy. Good day. Sure. Today is going to be a wonderful walk with Bobcat and Gabby. And I have some really cool, exciting news for you guys. So, yeah, I can't wait for you to hear it. Stick around. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Gabs? <laughs> Sure. That was excitement, eh? Uh oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Giving Gabby some lip there, eh? Hey, Gabs. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, oh. Ooh. Certainly warning old Gabs, giving a good stern warning saying don't get too close to me. <laughs> okay guys, so what is this exciting news I have? And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to announce, uh, super proud to announce that uh, we have a short film coming up. Uh, starring both myself and the marvellous Bobcat. Um, and the film is called The Last Lion. Um, it's a short film that explores the possibility of these magnificent animals going extinct. Yeah, shudder, shudder to think that, but uh, that's what the film uh, explores. Guys, um, the thing about this film is it's exclusive to our members. We've made this film um, with our members in mind. It's a very beautifully made film, um, very cinematic, and it really gets one thinking about um, human impact on this planet, specifically when it comes to the king of the jungle lions. Uh, we are going to be entering the film into uh, the film festivals. We think it has that potential. And as I say, exclusive to Lion uh, Whisperer TV members, guys who are part of the Pride. Um, and yeah, it won't be coming to the core, unfortunately, for a long, long time uh, due to the fact that it will be entered into competition. Um, guys, I know <laughs> it seems like I've been pushing members quite a bit lately, but uh, yeah, members really are what keeps this core channel together, keeps the Line Whisperer TV channel afloat and uh, being able to produce you the content that you guys see for free. So I really do encourage you guys to go and check out memberships, but um, if ever there was a reason why, uh, you should be joining memberships guys it's to see this film called the last line with uh yeah yours truly bobcat oh who's on a mission today he's really not on a mission to talk to anyone um he has been a little bit antsy lately and I think uh, he just needs some time out. I think he just, he's been uh, craving a walk. Maybe he wants to go and cause trouble with those smelly hyenas.
So, yeah, this morning Bobcat knew exactly what he wanted to do today on a walk. From the moment I uh, let him out of the big camp next to the walking enclosure, he's just made a beeline for the hyena clan. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> he is just uh, hell bent on revving them up, but in a very subdued, unlike Bobcat way. Maybe old age is catching up on the old boy. So, yeah, Bobcat, Gabby, hello Gabalicious. Oh, she's been all nice to him, but he's not been very nice to her today. Hey, my darling. Yeah. Come. Come, Gabs. Okay, there he's getting revved up. Just to let him get it out of his system. He's had it in for these hyena um, ever since this morning and uh, I don't even think he knows I'm here. I don't think he's kind of uh, cl clicked onto that yet. So, you know, typical bobcat, once he chills out, calms out, you'll go, oh, Kev, where did you come from? <laughs> so Gabby's had enough. And she says, I'm not wasting my morning's walk chasing hyenas and so we are setting off down the road hopefully Mr. Big will follow I think he will what do you think Gabs? oh hello boy oh come let's go come Let's go. Come boy. <coughs> so guys, yeah. Uh, when we decided to make the documentary, obviously we had to decide on a lion that we would use to represent the last lion. And uh, obviously there are so many beautiful cats here at the sanctuary. They're all are deservingly representative of uh, of lions uh, but yeah after not too much debate but after a little while we decided on bobcat because yeah we think he epitomizes what a lion should be he's regal he's proud he's strong he's gorgeous um, He's got attitude when he needs to have attitude. He's loving when he needs to be loving. Um, so yeah, we it kind of it kind of fitted. It wasn't a very difficult decision once you know we started to uh, list the attributes of each cat here at the sanctuary and um, you know just the, his uh, mane, that beautiful golden fringe with the black mane, that full mane even though he's getting on in, in years, 16 years of age. Yeah, um, and obviously, sorry Gabs, we couldn't, we couldn't include Gabs because the movie, uh, or the, 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 the short film is about the last line. It's not the last line and lioness, it was the last line. And that was the, uh, the, 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 the story behind it. So, uh, yeah, Bobcat was, was chosen as the talent. And then I think uh, when it comes to why, why me, it's, uh, I suppose they didn't have a choice. Incredible <laughs> what a walk does for these animals. I mean, this cat was not in a touchy-feely mood about an hour ago. I mean, I could see he was just very uh, edgy, and now ooh, he's the loving, <laughs> the loving bobcat that we all love and know. <laughs> yeah, just uh, needed to walk it off. Hey, eh? sometimes going for a good walk, guys, is uh, all you need. 
All right, so George has arrived, but immediately naughtiness. I think she's going to go after the tires. Gabby, George, George, get going, go. I've had to warn George to get going <laughs> because. Okay, she's chasing. Just go. Go, go. Uh. Meat bag. Yeah. Gabby. Yeah. Hello, Gab boy. Good. Yeah. All right. Just got to uh, get her distracted with some meat, <laughs> otherwise we're going to have some flat tires. Okay, all right. I think we, I think we're good. Come, Gabs. Yeah, Gabby. Yeah. 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 Gabby. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, didn't have to say no, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, now you get all grumpy. Oh, I could just see her look. Okay. There's a good boy. Oh. <laughs> Popcat never disappoints. Did you see her? She was coming straight for the car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I met her like halfway. <laughs> she was just like meeting me. Then I was like, hmm, we have to make a plan. That's why I drove like I saw that. to this side. Yeah. Okay, well, we we outsmarted Gabby. So I think it's uh, two, I think it's two all now. Maybe, maybe three, two in our favor. Yeah. yeah, she hasn't bitten a tire for a while. No. <laughs> anyway, okay. Cool, let's get going. Yeah. All that's left for me to say is from uh, Bobcat and Gabby. Bye. <laughs> I have given you me my skies to sit under. It's human nature to always aspire to more. That is what has made us a successful species. But it is also to our detriment. We are coming closer to one shared fate, where you and I will have little choice but to stand face to face. Why don't people care? I think the answer is, it doesn't affect them. Perhaps we go back into the eyes we wore when our bodies were still small. Perhaps we see a flower without picking it. Perhaps we let the beautiful survive.